Hey guys, if you're interested in seeing me make these glosses, stay tuned. Okay, so at this point, well, before I even say that, before I put anything out, I wiped this whole area with Clorox wipes. And then here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's plastic wrap here, just as another form of barrier. Um, but I made four glosses already. Those are sitting out waiting to be put in tubes, and I'll show you that. Right now, I'm making a new color. This is going to be a red color. So these are all my oils. These are all my ingredients that are in my lip gloss. That's it. So I have all my oils, except for this, mixed in. So, I don't know if you can see it. Not that much to see. And now I'm just going to add some pigment. And a little goes a long way. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh my god, that's so cute. It has like a pearl kind of thing to it. And this is a clear gloss, so that's, oh my god, that's so pretty. <laughs> and then I'm also going to add my flavoring. This one is going to be strawberry flavor. I'm just going to add that in. And then I'm going to add this in. Now it smells so good. So if you watch other videos of people making lip gloss, it may seem like it's the same thing. They may be using similar ingredients. So annoyed. I came over here to do a close-up of the lip gloss. And I see that it stopped because I didn't have any more space. But this is it you kind of can't really see the pearliness of it but it has a pearl kind of texture to it so that's the lip gloss this is strawberry flavored so now we're gonna get to tubing so as i was saying before my phone so rudely cut me off is that if you go on YouTube and you look at um, videos of people making lip gloss, it may look like it's the same thing, but it's not because everyone has their own formula. Even if they're using the same oils, they use different ratios to get a different kind of consistency, a different amount of shine and things like that. And then there are a bunch of oils, natural and you know not natural, that you can use, which was my point. Um, and that's why I don't really show myself putting in the oils because my formula is special to me. Okay, so now I have my syringes pre-filled. The tinted ones are gonna go in wand tubes and the clear one is gonna go in a squeeze tube. So we're just gonna get to filling.
I put on a shirt because now that I'm zoomed in, it's like lip gloss and boobs. I don't think you guys came here for the boobs. I was just really hot. <laughs> but it's okay these are a little hard to get in <laughs> there we go so the stopper is there and I'm trying um, new tubes just the top is different. I'm gonna see if I like the silver, if I wanna go back to black or what have you. Girl, I had to freeze this really quick. It wasn't just a new top, it was a whole new vendor. I was trying out new tubes. The first thing I noticed, the actual tube didn't feel like glass or as high quality as the one I have now. It felt more like plastic. And then you see the, the what I had to go through to get the stopper into the lip gloss. Fast forward to I'm done tubing all of my tinted lip glosses. And now I take one for myself and I'm trying it on, attempting to try it on. And no lip gloss is coming out of it, dolls. I mean, a little like pin point bit of lip gloss is coming out of it. The stopper hole was so tight that it wiped all the lip gloss out off the wand. You don't even know the trials and tribulations I had to go through to suck all the lip gloss out of the wand tubes and then try to transfer it to squeeze tubes so I can have them available to you guys. Girl, I was tired. At this point, I didn't know my final destiny. I thought everything was all good in the hood. I got my lip glosses tubes, they look good, I'm happy. And right now I'm just putting like the lip applicator on the squeeze tubes. And then the paper towel is just me um, cleaning the excess lip gloss that got on the outside of the tube while I was filling them. And also I just wanna point out, cause you can see like the paper bowls, um, plastic spoons in the bowls. I use that because I want to keep everything sanitary. Everything is one time use only. Once I'm done with those bowls, I throw them out. The syringes I use one time and that's it. Once I fill my tubes up with whatever syringe color and I'm done for the day, everything goes in the garbage. I keep everything as sanitary as possible. And that's why I love my line because you saw I have about 10 ingredients or less. I'm showing you a video of what I'm doing. You know I keep it sanitary. You see there's 10 ingredients or less ingredients in your lip gloss. If you've tried it, you know it's super moisturizing, super shiny. It lasts a long time. It tastes good. It smells good. Um, you know, so it's a brand you can trust. A girl told me she put some on and her boyfriend kissed her and he likes the lip gloss too so the males like it too girl get you some lip gloss <laughs> thanks guys for tuning in and watching me make my glasses thanks for keeping me company um just to go over these again this is watermelon this is mixed berries this is lemonade this is strawberry and i have one more and that one is going to be cinnamon roll tasty hope you enjoyed the video hope you got some insight on how i make my glasses hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you soon in my next video bye